tonight as it was discovered that the Great Pyramid of Giza had been stolen and replaced by a giant inflatable replica. There is panic throughout the globe as countries and citizens try to protect their beloved landmarks. Law enforcement still has no leads, leaving everyone to wonder which of the world's villains is responsible for this heinous crime. And where will he strike next? has been leaving little bombs all over my yard and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry. You know dogs. They go wherever they want to go. Unless they're dead. <laughs> I'm joking. Although it is true. Anyway, have a good one. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Me. Oh, you've got to be pulling on my leg. Hello? Cookies for sale. Go away, I'm not home. Uh, yes you are. I heard you. <laughs> no, you didn't. This is a recording. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Watch this. Leave a message. Beep. Oh! Did I record a message? Agnes, come on. Ah, Dr. Lafario. I know how you must be feeling. I too have encountered great disappointment. In my eyes, you will always be one of the greats. What? What, what happened? It's all over the news. Some fella just stole a pyramid. They're saying he makes all other villains look... lame. Assemble the minions!
that you guys have probably heard about this other villain who stole the pyramids. Apparently, it's a big deal. People are calling it the crime of the century and stuff like that. But, am I upset? No, I am not. A little, but we have had a pretty good year ourselves. And you guys are all right in my book. <laughs> no, no raises. No, I'm not going to get any raises. What did we do? Well, we stole the Times Square Jumbo Tron! Right? Huh? That's how I roll! Yeah, you all are watching football on that, huh? But that's not all. We stole the Statue of Liberty! The small one from Las Vegas. And I won't even mention the Eiffel Tower! Also Vegas. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about this yet, but... I have been working on something very big. Something that will blow this pyramid thing out of the water. And thanks to the efforts of my good friend, Dr. Nefario. Thank you! Oh, there he is. He's smiling. Now, we have located the shrink ray in a secret lab. And once we take this shrink ray, we will have the capability to pull off the true crime of the century. We are going to steal. Wait, wait! I haven't told you what it is yet. Hey, Dave, listen up, please. Next, we are going to steal. Pause for effect. The And what? The move. About? Yes, well, look, look, I've been crunching some numbers, and I really don't see how we can afford this. It can't be done. I'm not a miracle worker. Hey, Chillax, I'll just get another loan from the bank. They love me. Adopted, Ada. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know. Good. So how did it go, girls? Did we meet our quota? Mm, sorta. We sold 43 mini mints, 30 taco swirlies, and 18 coconutties. <sighs> you say that like it's a great sale day. Look at my face! Do you still think it's a great sale day? 18 coconutties. I think we can do a little better than that. Don't you? Yeah. We wouldn't want to spend the weekend in the box of shame, would we? No. No, no Miss Hattie. Okay, good. Off you go. Go clean something of mine. Hi, Hi. Hi guys. Hello, Mom. Sorry, I meant to call, but... I just wanted to congratulate you on stealing the pyramid. Uh, that was you, wasn't it? Or was it a villain who's actually successful? <laughs> Just so you know, Mom, I'm about to do something that's very, very big, very important. When you hear about it, you're going to be very proud. Ah, good luck with that. Okay, I'm out of here.
Crow to see Mr. Perkins? Yes, please have a seat. Now, someday I'm going to go to the moon. Oh, I'm afraid you're too late, son. NASA isn't sending the monkeys anymore. Applying for a new villain loan. Go by the name of Vector. It's a mathematical term, a quantity represented by an arrow with both direction and magnitude. Vector! That's me, because I'm committing crimes with both direction and magnitude. Oh yeah! Check out my new weapon. Piranha gun! Oh yes! Fires live piranhas. Ever seen one before? No, you have, and I invented it. Do you want a demonstration? Oh, ah, shit. It's so difficult sometimes to get the piranha back inside of it. Oh, Mr. Oh. Brew, Mr. Perkins will see now. So all I need is money from the bank to build a rocket. And then the moon is ours. Wow. Well, very nice presentation. <clears throat> I'd like to see this shrink ray. Absolutely. Will do. As soon as I have it. You don't have it, and yet you have the audacity to ask the bank for money. Apparently. Do you have any idea of the capital that this bank has invested in you, crew? When far too few of your sinister plots actually turning a profit. How can I put it? Let's say this apple is you. If we don't start getting our money back. <laughs> Get the picture? Mm -hmm. Look, Gru, the point is, there are a lot of new villains out there. Younger than you. Hungrier than you. Younger than you. Like that young fellow out there named Vector. He just stole a pyramid! I've got it. I've got it. Um, so, as far as getting money for the rocket... Get the shrink ray. Then we'll talk.
<laughs> oh, good luck, little girl. Whoa. Cool. Uh, hi! We're orphans from Miss Hattie's Home for Girls. I don't care! Beat it! Come on! We're selling cookies so, you know, we can have a better future. Oh, wait, wait! Um, do you have coconutties? Uh, yeah? robots disguised as cookies. What? Cookie robots. Who is this? Oh, forget it. <laughs> well, it appears you have cleared our background check. Dr. Gru. Oh, uh, say you have made a list of some of your personal achievements. Thank you for that. I love reading. <laughs> And I see you have been given the Medal of Honor and a knighthood. <laughs> you had your own cooking show and you can hold your breath for 30 seconds. It's not that impressive. <laughs> what in the name of what? <clears throat> well... Here's the deal, yo. Things have been so lonely since my wife, Debbie, passed on. It's like my heart has a tooth, and it's got a cavity that can only be filled with children. I'm sorry. You are a beautiful woman. Do you speak Spanish? Do I look like I speak Spanish? You have a face como un burro. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, anyway, can we proceed with this adoption? So, so excited. Oh. Please tell Margo, Edith, and Agnes to come to the lobby. I bet the mom is beautiful. I bet the daddy's eyes sparkle. I bet their house is made of gummy bears. I'm just saying it'd be nice. Oh, my caterpillar never turned into a butterfly. That's a cheetah. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, 
Debbie was a very lucky woman. Who's Debbie? Your wife. Oh, hi, girl. <laughs> Girls, I want you to meet Mr. Groove. He's going to adopt you. And he's a dentist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi. I'm Margo. Uh, this is Edith. And that's Agnes. <laughs> I got your leg. I got your leg. Okay, that's enough, little girl. Let go of my leg. Come on. Hi, you hi, Just hi, release the grip. Wow. How do you hold them? Is there a command? Some non-stick spray? Crowbar? Uh, okay, girls, let's go. What are you looking at? Booyah! You got shrunk, tiny mouthwash. Take that. You done been shrunk. Hello? Oh, I got the shrink ray, all right. No, I'm not playing with it. Groot? <laughs> don't, don't make me laugh. No. P.S. He is not getting the moon. And P.P.S. By the time I'm done with him, he's going to be begging for mercy. <laughs> Oh, look at you, a little tiny toilet for a little tiny baby to... Ah! Curse you, tiny toilet! Okay, here we are. Home sweet home. So, this is like your house? Wait a sec. You're the guy who pretended he was a recorded message. No, that was someone else. No. When we got adopted by a bald guy, I thought this would be more like Annie. Ah! Ah! Kyle, these are not treats. These are guests. Girls, this is Kyle, my dog. I don't know. Do you really think this is an appropriate place for little kids? Because, uh, it's not. No, no! Stay away from there, it's magic! <gasps> well, I suppose the plan will work with two. Hey! It's dark in here! <laughs> I poked a hole in my juice box. As you can see, I have provided everything a child might need. Uh, okay. As I was saying... Hey! Oh! Somebody broke that. Okay. Okay. Clearly, we need to set some rules. Rule number one. You will not touch anything. Uh-huh. What about the floor? Yes, you may touch the floor. What about the air? Yes, you may touch the air. What about this? Ah! Where did you get that? Found it. Okay. Rule number two. You will not bother me while I'm working. Rule number three. You will not cry or whine. Or laugh, or giggle, or sneeze, or burp, or fart. So no, no, no annoying sounds, right? Does this count as annoying? Very. <sighs> I will see you in six hours. Okay, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to be really happy here, right, Agnes? Mm -hmm.
Cookie robots. I said cookie robots. Why? Why are you? Why are you so old? Okay, I'm on it. Hello. Soon. I meant to close that. He'll be all right, I'm sure. Do the effects wear off? Uh, so far, no. No, they don't. And here, of course, is the new weapon you ordered. No, I said dart gun, not... Okay. Oh, yes, because I was wondering under what circumstances would we use this. But anyway, um, what I really wanted to show you was this. Now those are cookie robots. La, 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 la. Ah. I love you, Lincoln. What are you doing here? I told you to stay in the kitchen. We got bored. What is this place? Can I drink this? Do you want to explode? Ah. Get back in the kitchen. Will you play with us? No. Why? Because I'm busy. Doing what? Um, okay, okay, you got me. The dentist thing is more of a hobby. In real life, I am a spy. And it is top secret, and you may not tell anybody, because if you do... What does this do? <laughs> hey! Oops. My unicorn! You have to fix it. Fix it? Look. It has been disintegrated. By definition, it cannot be fixed. <gasps> That's freaking me out. What is she doing? She's gonna hold her breath until she gets a new one. Duh. It is just a toy. Now stop it. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll fix it. Tim, Mark, Phil! This is very important. You have to get the little girl a new unicorn toy. No, 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 no,
He's just kidding, Agnes. The dance class today. Actually, we can't skip the dance class today. We have a big recital coming up. We're doing an excerpt from Swan Lake. Yeah, Swan Lake. That's fantastic. Wonderful. But we are going to deliver cookies. Come on. No. We, no? We're not going to deliver cookies until we do dance class. Really? Well, I am not driving you to dance class. So if you want to go, you are going to have to walk yourselves. <laughs> What are you doing? Walking to dance class. Yeah, okay, fine. You'll just keep walking because I'm really not driving you. Okay. Mm, you're going to suffer the wrath of Gru. Seriously, I'm going to count to three, and you had better be in this car. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, and lift, and stretch, and one. What is it? You're taking to the dance recital. You are coming, right? Of course, of course. I I have pins and needles that I'm sitting on. Pinky promise. <sighs> oh, yes. My pinky promises. <sighs> Kindergarten. I know how the alphabet works. Uh, I, I was just thinking that it might be nice to deliver Mr. Rector's first. That is all. <laughs> almost over. It's almost over. Ah, girls, welcome back to the fortress of Vectortude. <laughs> Do you have my cookies for me? I'd like to see somebody else order that many cookies. Not likely. Name one person who ordered more cookies than me. That'll be fifty-two dollars. Right. Eight, nine. Are you wearing pajamas? <coughs> you got pajamas? This is a warm-up suit. stuff you wouldn't understand. Like sleeping? They are not pajamas! <laughs> ah, here you go. 52, big one.
100 cookies. Life is full of disappointments. For some people. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Don't do that. Here we go, please! No. But we've never been, and it's the funnest place on earth. Don't care. Please! Oh, we'll never ask for another Please! It is not for sale, but all you gotta do to win it is knock down that little spaceship there. <laughs> it's easy! <sighs> With my own eyes. Hey, buddy, let me explain something to you. You see that little tin spaceship? You see how it's not knocked over? Do you know what that means, Professor? It means you don't get the unicorn. Oh! Uh oh, somebody's got a frowny face. Ooh, better luck next time. Okay, my turn. Okay, girls, go play. <laughs> I got the shrink ray. Cotton candy. We have 12 days until the moon is in optimum position. We can't afford any distractions. Get me Perkins. bother you, Mr. Perkins, but I figured that you would want to see this! <laughs> well done, Gru. Rather impressive. Now, the rest of the plan is simple. I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon. I grab the moon. I sit on the toilet with one. <laughs> Excuse me, for just one second. Told you, told you, told you, told you. Uh -huh. Hey, can we order pizza? Pizza? You just had lunch. Not now, for dinner. Dinner? Just fine, fine, fine. Whatever, just get that in there. Oh, can we get stuffed crust? Mmm, stuffed crust. I'll stuff you all in the crust. <laughs> You're so funny. 
Just don't come out of that room again. Ah, all right. Sorry about that. Ah, where were we? You were sitting on the toilet. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. It was a little attempt at humor. I know how much you like to laugh. Inside there now, I was saying... You don't seem terribly focused, Gru. Believe me, I am completely focused. I'm... Hello! Whoa! That guy's huge. What are you, children? What are you doing? I told you to stay out of here! Please, stop it! Ah! Oh, no, 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 no! Mr. Gru! Okay! As I was saying... No need to continue. I've seen quite enough. But my plan... It's a great plan. I love everything about your plan, except for one thing. You. Look, Mom, I drew a picture of me landing on the moon. Uh, look, Mom, I made a prototype of the rocket out of macaroni. Uh, look, Mom, I made a real rocket based on the macaroni prototype. I don't understand. Let's face reality, Gru. You've been at this for far too long, with far too little success. We're gonna put our faith, our money, into a... Well, a younger villain. But I... It's over. Goodbye, Gru. <laughs> Some rumors going around that the bank is no longer funding us. Well, I am here to put those rumors to rest. They are true. In terms of money, we have no money. So how will we get to the moon? The answer is clear. We won't. We are doomed. Now would probably be a good time to look for other employment options. I know I have fired up my resume, as I suggested all of you do as well. What is it? Can't you see that I'm in the middle of a pep talk? An ugly girl.
Anymore. Victor was my nerd name. Now I am Vector. Sit down! Do you know where the shrink gray is? Duh. Back at my place. Oh, is that right? Back at your place. Oh, that's cool. I guess Groom must just have one that looks exactly like it! Ooh. What the? Those, those girls sold me cookies! Do you have any idea how lucrative this moon heist could be? I give you the opportunity of a lifetime and you just blow it! No, I didn't. Oh, really? You'll just wait till Chris sees my latest weapon. Squid launcher! Oh, yeah! Ah, there's a squid on <laughs> Don't worry. The moon is as good as ours. <laughs> Come on now, it's bedtime. Did you brush your teeth? Let me smell. Let me smell. <sighs> you did not. Put on your poojee. Okay, okay seriously. Seriously, this is, this is baby bar. Fine. Right now. I'm not kidding around. Me. Oh, we're not tired. Well, I am tired. Will you read us a bedtime story? No. Pretty please. The physical appearance of the please makes no difference. It is still no. So go to sleep. But we can't. We're all hyper. And without a bedtime story, we'll just keep getting up and bugging you. All night long. Oh, fine. All right. All right. Sleepy kittens. Sleepy kittens. What are these? Puppets. You use them when you tell the story. Okay, let's get this over with. Three little kittens love to play. They had fun in the sun all day. Then their mother came out and said, Time for kittens to go to bed. Wow, this is garbage. Do you actually like this? Keep reading. <sighs> Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Three little kittens started to bawl. Mommy, we're not tired at all. Their mother smiled and said with a purr, Fine, but at least you should brush your fur. Now you brush the fur. This is literature? A two-year-old could have written this. All right. Three little kittens with fur all brushed said, We can't sleep. We feel too rushed. Their mother replied with a voice like silk. Fine, but at least you should drink your milk. Now make them drink the milk. Oh, I don't like this book. This is going on forever. Three little kittens with milk all gone rubbed their eyes and started to yawn. <sighs> we can't sleep. We can't even try. Then their mother sang a lullaby. Good night, kittens. Close your eyes. Sleep in peace until you rise. Though while you sleep, we are apart. Your mommy loves you with all her heart. The end, okay. Good night. Wait. What? What about good night kisses? No, no, no. There will be no kissing or hugging or kissing. He's not going to kiss us good night, Agnes. I like him. He's nice. Not scary. Like Santa. Only 48 hours till the launch, and all systems are go. Uh, about that. I was thinking that maybe we could move the date of the heist. Please tell me this is not as a result of the girls' dance recital, is it? No, 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 the recital don't. That's stupid. I just think it's kind of weird to do it on a Saturday. I was thinking maybe a heist is a Tuesday thing, right? Groove! You and I have been working on this for years. It's everything we've dreamed of. Your chance to make history. Become the man who stole the moon. But these girls are becoming a major distraction. They need to go. If you don't do something about it, then I will. I understand. Good. Now, 
When we put our cups together, we will make the clink sound with our mouths. Ready? Eat it. Clink. There we go. And now we drink. And Agnes, clink. Very good. Excuse me, girls. Don't worry, I'll be back. Keep clinking. Oh, Miss Addy, what are you doing here? I'm here for the girls. I was saved to call that you wanted to return them. And uh, also, I did purchase a Spanish dictionary. <coughs> I didn't like what you said. But I... <coughs> oh. I will get the girls ready. What is this for? The recital. I, I am the greatest criminal mind of the century. I don't go to little girls' dance recitals. <laughs>
I can make it. Wait a minute!
Don't worry, I will catch you. You gave us back! I know, I know, and it is the worst mistake I ever made! But you have to jump now! It will be okay. Once again, law enforcement is baffled, leaving everyone to wonder, who is this mysterious hero, and what will he do next? Okay, girls, time for bed. Oh, come on, you want a story? Please, leave the kids! Oh no, sorry, that dead book was accidentally destroyed maliciously. Tonight, we are going to read a new book. This one is called, One Big Unicorn, by who wrote this? Oh, me! I wrote it. Oh, look, it's a puppet book. Here, watch this. Mm. That's the horn. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the best book ever! Not to pat myself on the back, but yes, it probably will be. Here we go. One big unicorn, strong and free, thought he was happy as he could be. Then three little kittens came around and turned his whole life upside down. Hey, that one looks like me! No, what are you talking about? These are kittens. Any relation to persons living or dead is completely coincidental. They made him laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! They made him cry. Ooh. He never should have said goodbye. And now he knows he could never part from those three little kittens that changed his heart. The end. Okay, all right. Good night. No, no. Uh. Oh, all right. Didn't I get you already? Just like me. Maybe even better. 